Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be learning how to sketch quadratic graphs by using factorization. The success criteria is as followed. One, rearrange quadratic equations so that it can be factorized. Two, able to factorize a range of quadratic expressions. Three, read coordinates including coordinates from a table of values. And finally four, block coordinates including coordinates from a table of values. Here is your two practice. Make sure to pause your video and give yourself some time to complete these questions. Great job. Make sure you mark your work in green pen. All right, so when we are sketching quadratic graphs by using factorization, the first things first is look at the equation and find where the y-intercept is. So the y-intercept is the constant in the equation. So 36 for this one here is our y-intercept. So this is going to enable us to have a more accurate sketch of the graph. So after doing that, what we're going to do is draw our axes with a ruler. Obviously, I'm not using a ruler because of constraints. So we're going to label our axes. And then we're going to put our scale in. So 12, 24, 36, 3, 6, 9, 12, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, and negative 12. So now that we have done that, what we're going to do now, oops, sorry, ignore that. So what we're going to do now is factorize so we're going to factorize it and basically find out a combination of numbers that when they um multiply together to get 36 they also add together to get negative 15x so we know it's going to have to be a negative factor of 36 because they're both going to have to add up to get negative 15x so looking at the different um factors of 36 um a good one would be x would be uh negative 12 and negative 3 because when they add up they get negative 15 so we're going to put it back into the bracket so negative 3 times by negative 12 so it's going to be like that okay so we're going to make each individual bracket equal zero so zero equals x minus three so it's going to be x equals three and the coordinate for that root is going to be 3, 0. And we're going to do that for x minus 12. So 0 equals x minus 12. So x equals 12. So the coordinate is going to be 12, 0. So now that we've done that, we've found what the y axis um, intercept is. We have factorized it and we know what the roots are what we now need to do is just sketch it so the y-axis one was 36 0 this point is 3 0 and the next one is 12 0 now we're going to draw a line for all these points and our graph is going to look like this so make sure to pause the video and give yourself some time to do the we do question over here Okay, here are the answers for this question. All right, so we're going to do the, the same step. We, are, we can tell already that the y-intercept is negative 36, and that coordinate is negative 36, 0. Sorry, uh, my mistake. It's actually 0, negative 36. And then we're going to sketch our graph. And put in our scale. Negative 12, negative 24, negative 36. And over here is going to be 3, 9. 3, 6, 9, 12. Negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12. Alright, so we are going to factorise this expression here. 
So we need to think of two numbers that when they multiply together, you get negative 36, but when you add them together, you get negative 16. So one factor is going to have to be positive and the other factor is going to have to be negative. So I think about it and a factor, two factors that would work would be negative 18 and positive 2. So I factorise it, I put it back into the brackets. So y equals bracket x minus 18, close bracket, open bracket x plus 2. And I'm going to make each individual bracket equal 0. When I do that, I get the roots 18, 0, and the other root negative 2, 0. And now I'm going to plot it. So the y-intercept was negative 36 was a uh, 0 negative 36 one of the roots is negative 2 0 and the other one is 18 0 and then now I'm going to plot the graph and this is what I get so copy the notes and do the we do question Great job, this is the answer. Okay, so let's have a go at this one here. So we have, we need to look at the, um, what the y-intercept is, and the y-intercept is in fact 0, 36. Let's draw our coordinate uh, axes. And let's put our scale in. All right, so we need to find two positive factors of 36 that when they add together, we get 12. So let's look, think about that. So 12 and 3 are factors of 36, but they add up to 15. There's also 9 and 4, uh, but that adds up to 13. There is also 3, uh, sorry, there's also 6 and 6. And that is, that's one that does add up to 12. Okay, so when we factorise it, what we get is 0 equals x minus 6, close bracket open, x minus 6, sorry, plus 6, sorry. And then after we make each individual bracket equal 0, and x equals negative 6. So our coordinate will be x, negative 6, 0. And now we're going to use that to sketch the graph. And our graph is going to look like this. So the graph only has one root, only touches the x-axis once. And our graph will look like this. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at the we do question now. Great job, well done. The graph should look somewhat like this. All right, so let's have a go at this one here. So with this one, I personally, I would not bother factorizing. I would just go straight to making x equals zero, um, x equal, y equals zero, and then um, making x a subject. Okay, so um, I'll show you how to do that. Um, but first, let's just follow these steps here. So find the value of y when x equals zero. So basically the y-intercept. And that is when y is minus 4. So let's draw our axes. And we're going to go up in 2s this time. So negative 2, negative 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6. Okay, so now let's plot our y-intercept, which is negative uh, which is 0, negative 4, 
this coordinate here. And then now we're going to solve for zero equals x squared minus four. So I'm going to do my working out over here, sorry. There's not just simply not enough space. So zero equals x squared minus four. I want x to be the subject, so I'm going to add four to both sides. So it's going to be four equals x squared. And then I want x to be by itself, so I'm going to square root both sides. So I'm going to get x equals the square root plus or minus x square root of four. Sorry. And our answer is plus or minus two. So the reason why it's plus or minus two, because negative two times negative two equals uh, four and two times two equals four so basically there's two possible values of what x could be so x could either be positive or negative two so we're going to now plot that on our graph here so x equals positive two and x equals negative two and now we're going to draw a curve a smooth curve through all these lines these points sorry and um, our graph looks like this Pause the video and have a go at the we do question. All right, well done. This is the answers. Okay, here is the practice exercise. Have a go at factorizing each well. of these okay. questions. You draw also the graphs for these questions as well, please. Great job. Make sure you mark your work okay, in the green well done. pen.